Depending on my internet, it could be next year. Hey, listen. Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, if that is not like the most like ridiculous sound. I had a student uh, who actually did a really awesome like uh, like Zelda cosplay where she made all of her own like Zelda armor stuff. Yeah, my nephew and... has a pretty sweet cosplay for Zelda too. Yeah. If you remember my wedding. I do recall him coming out at your wedding. That was like you didn't know about that either. That I just that happened. Did not know. Nope. No. I did not know about that. That Link made an appearance. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. My um nephew came out dressed in full head to toe homemade Link cosplay. And oh, they made the band put on I don't even remember what song like I think it was I think it was just the medley, wasn't it? Yeah. Maybe like mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I used to like one of my class at uh, my my Catholic school that I used to work at would become too rowdy, which had a Catholic school. It meant three kids were talking. Right. <laughs> that was it. Right. Um, but when I wanted them to like to stop talking, I just put on a 10 hour loop of, hey, listen. Yeah, mm. you've put that you've sent that to me before you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. It, it brought it brought those three kids right down. Yeah, because they it's stopped a, talking it's immediately. Assaulting to the ears. Yeah, which speaking of assaulting to the ears, let's talk about like things that may have been triumphs of the Legend of Zelda series versus things that were assaults to our hands and eyeballs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, because one, one thing I want to do before we mm -hmm. we jump into that because you know this is the, the side stitch we usually kick off our weeks with, right? Yep. Um, very similar to what happened to me when we first started recording. I noticed this this Chelsea person in the corner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I, I know we introduce her at some point, but I, I think we should do it to start the week as well. Yeah, we probably should because, yeah, technically this is your first time you're getting to see Chelsea or hear Chelsea. There's no, <laughs> there's no video to this yet. We're not there. <laughs> we don't have the technology for that. But, yeah, so this is Chelsea, everyone. Hello, here I am. Yes, Ooh. Chelsea, uh, friend from college, uh, fellow fellow nerd uh, mm -hmm. as well, and she's here to talk about the Legend of Zelda with us this week. Yes, I yeah, am. Yeah, we're we'll introduce the shit out of her again in our main episode, but we want to make sure you know her name because it's Chelsea. She'll, yes. <laughs> yep. She'll yep. Be here and not Matt. Not Matt. <laughs> not Matt. This is like when you call Link Zelda. Don't Chelsea do that. is not Matt. I'm not Matt. <laughs> you know what? We'll put that over all of the marketing info for this week. It'll just, it won't say Chelsea. It'll just say not Matt. Not, not Matt. Matt. Not Matt. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Which, by the way, for those of you wondering, Matt is Chelsea's husband. So, he is. He mm -hmm. is. Yep. He's listening right now, I'm sure. Hi, Matt. Ye old ball and chain. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, ball yeah. and chain. Yeah, that sounds like a weapon. One that Link <laughs> actually had at some point in time, I think. Yeah, because he had a chain chomp for one of his we weapons in a game. <laughs> yeah. Well, sorry to, to derail things. you. Yeah, it's sorry to derail you, Joe. Um, no, that, that, I brought it back. I found something. See, that, that was a transition I made there. Ball and chain. Hey, Link once fought with one of those. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's, high, that's like high energy stuff right there. Yeah, it is what we bring to this show mm -hmm. so speaking yeah. of energy let's start from the top like what do we think are the like if you had like let's let's pit some of the best games in the series like when we think of like absolute winners for the legend of zelda a link to the past mm -hmm. ocarina of yep. time mm -hmm. wind waker yep skyward sword has to be thrown in that too just because i think because of like you know ratings and stuff um ah. twilight <laughs> princess i know yes. well, yeah twilight princess fantastic um, and then Breath of the Wild. Yeah. I think those are the heavy hitters of the series. Mm -hmm. um, which, by the way, if none of those are your favorite, you know, let us know what your favorite is in the comments. It'll be great yeah. to hear from you. But yeah, it's so like of those things, let's put our heads together. And they can be separate on this too. Let's take a second to think, which one do we think is the best? Now, again, when we say the best, this is like before conversations where we say like, my brother used to have a very highly trained German shepherd, a very awesome dog. And then I have my corgi which kind of knows its own name and the Corgi I preferred because he was my dog. You yeah. could argue that the German shepherd was the better animal. 
Right. Yeah. That's what we're doing here. This is subjective. So no one lose yes. your mind. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. yes. This is my rifle. There are many others like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> this one is mine. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. That's what we're going for here. So like, let's pick your Sullivan. Let's pick your rifle. Where are we in this? It's so hard. It is. It's like having like three actual kids you actually enjoy and not like that one who's clearly like, oh. mm. Well, I can yeah. tell you my least favorite, which I think you know, and so I don't need to cheat the cheat the question. Let's do that. Yeah, um, let's build to the best. What's your least favorite then? Out of those that we listed, my least favorite is Skyward Sword. Yeah, hands mm -hmm. down, hands down, my least favorite. Yep. So let's take it like so. Skyward Sword. This came out after like Twilight Princess, which mm -hmm. again, tough fact to follow because holy fuck. Twilight yep. Princess. Yep. <laughs> Fantastic game. Mm -hmm. Like we said, uh, it's got that PG 13 lighting. You get this great story where Zelda loses her party girl, st party girl status. And she's like banished kind of technically. <laughs> and <laughs> you've got the new hero of time, which by the way, can sumo wrestle a Goron with nothing giving him additional strength. Yeah. The balls on that man, that guy <laughs> fucks. Yeah. Is what he does. The hero of Twilight. <laughs> so, yeah, tell us why Skyward Sword sucks, other than the fact that it followed that awesome, awesome game that was Twilight Princess. <sighs> Skyward Sword sucks because moving around in the world isn't exciting. It's not, not fun. Mm -mm. The controls blow. Yep. <laughs> and, <love> <laughs> yeah, and and you know, while I appreciate that they were trying to do something fun and in depth mm -hmm. and different with the story, it just it didn't feel like it should have. No. Nah. And yeah. it followed mm -hmm. up a game that was in my book, like 10 out of 10. And it was just, it was disappointed. And there was a lot of hype there. And I, Oh, so much hype. I was not, I didn't feel it. I did not feel it. Didn't like no. It. And like, again, like, I'm sorry, but if your answer to Epona is a shoe bill stork that doesn't <laughs> listen to you for the fuck of anything, <laughs> like you messed up, you messed yep. up. Good. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Like the Loft Wings, fun idea. Like great idea on paper. Not that great execution. Cause like when things that this the game actually to get praise for was actually the control and combat system in it, which again, not a fan of. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, not a fan there. Uh, but one thing that it did take heat on was the Loft Wing stuff was just boring. Yeah. Like exploring a, a seemingly empty sky and then suddenly like another floating island just kind of pops up in the distance like all right i'll be there in five minutes i guess this bird is slow um yeah just not as fun mm -mm. Mm -mm. i did appreciate their uh, their first attempt there at a little crafting system yeah that's I, true i did like okay i hear you i see this i don't mm -hmm. hate this but it wasn't enough to keep no. me i didn't even finish the game i mm -mm. didn't finish it out i couldn't do it i lost interest and there isn't anything about me that wanted to pick up that wiimote no and, and finish fact, out that game chelsea is so far behind in finishing that game that uh i'm gonna go back and finish it for it only to discover that a mainline character that was supposed to have been dead <laughs> is somehow brought back to life <laughs> Because uh. she did not finish that game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, oddly yep, old enough, Achilles is just yeah. still sitting there on the porch. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> my love of my my love affair or lack thereof with Assassin's Creed Three. Yeah. My my complete lack of gameplay has resurrected <laughs> dead characters. Yeah. It was impressive. Yep. Very. But oh my gosh. So yeah, like I'm in the same boat. Like I'm not gonna say. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't think Skyward Sword is my least favorite title, but it's down there. Out of um, the ones that we listed, though? Oh, oh, out of the ones that we listed for, like, for the episode? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's the bottom, bottom yeah. feeder in that. Yeah. Yep, easily. Ugly um, stepchild, for sure. Yeah, and honestly, like, even looking at, like, um, I don't know, even, like, the, like, Link's, like, tunic design, like, we lost the badass chain mail that we had, yes. uh, or I guess mail, I guess just mail, that's chain mail is a different thing, sorry. <laughs> just mail. Sorry, historians, just mail. You lose the mail that Link be had kind. under there. <laughs> be, uh, be kind to me, sir. Oh, slow yourself, adventurer. Um, <laughs> um, oh, yeah, yeah, so you lose that cool look to it. Um, and okay. I don't know, like, things are kind of, like, oddly, like, I don't know. 
coming from someone who loves and adores Wind Waker, oddly cartoony. Yes. Skyrim so sword. this is what is super funny about this because mm -hmm. you and I, we don't understand why people have such a problem with Wind Waker. We both love yeah. it. We think mm -hmm. it's absolutely great. I find the art style to be very charming and oh, fun. Completely. Mm -hmm. But coming off of Twilight Princess and how stunning it was. Oh, yeah. And then, mm -hmm. you know, the game, I don't know, maybe... Maybe if the maybe if Skyward Sword would have held up gameplay wise, yeah, maybe we would have been able to tolerate the artistic style that they took from that better. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the gameplay didn't hold up, and therefore yep. I hated the way it looked. Same, and then the the three uh, the three dragons of the goddesses, mm -hmm. weird looking, not yep. like a fun weird, like again like this weird like definite dragon body with a kind of humanish. It's like. It's like Fing, it's like Fin Fang Foom from Iron Man, mm -hmm. but not done nearly as well. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, didn't didn't like the dragons in this game. Um, like again, like the weapons were still kind of fun. Like you still mm -hmm. have this like uh, myriad of weapons to pick from. Uh, like honestly, which is something that I kind of miss from Breath of the Wild because you don't get that. It's yeah. just like you have swords and spears um, and axes, and they have varying levels of durability. But like you lose the hook shot, you lose um the uh, the boomerang is, is wait hold on there's no boomerang in um mm, the no. wild is there no mm -mm. you lose the boomerang um you lose the bombachus like you lose a lot of fun stuff that this game still has and you've got yeah. that weird little drone thing in this game it's like a beetle that yeah, flies yeah, this thing. That, that's pretty yeah, fun yeah that was fun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but again I feel like they were like how can we incorporate motion yeah. controls into oh, this game yep. let's mm -hmm. do this mm -hmm. stupid thing like. Blech. I know. I like, know. there's a lot of stuff that's basically shoehorned in uh, mm -hmm. because of like the trend that Nintendo was doing with their platform at the time. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And that so wasn't just with this game either. Like, this is this is like almost every oh every action game that was on that platform. It just was. Yep. How can we complicate this? You know. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they did this to Tetris. I never played a Tetris game on the Wii, <laughs> yeah. but I'm sure you had to do some sort of crap motion to like flip everything. It's yeah. probably the only place that it even has business being in is a game like Tetris, to be honest. I'm just spitting some truth over here. Legit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Nintendo. We're very happy the motion controls are by and large dead. Yeah, keep yep. them there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, speaking of things that should be kept dead, <laughs> uh, I want to take us down a journey that uh, fortunately some of you haven't been down. And that is a very damn good thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let me just read these off to you and let me see if these strike you as familiar. Have we heard of Link, the Faces of Evil, and Zelda, the Wand of Gamelon? No. <laughs> not at all. And if you have not, then consider yourself thankful. <laughs> 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 so... These these are two games that were made by uh, Philips Interactive Media for the CDI. Oh. Yeah, if you. Have... Oh, no, I've looked up pictures. <sighs> oh, don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> oh no! Please, please do not do it. it I... So oh, Mark, continue. I'm just gonna over here and die. A <laughs> I was gonna bit. say I'm flying yeah. super blind, so you're gonna have to paint a very vivid oh, picture. <laughs> I will paint this picture for you, just as shitty as they did in the game. So, <laughs> uh, so th these are games that were obviously made. Um, through some very creative third-party bullshit with, you know, because Nintendo <laughs> basically allows this this developer called Animation Magic uh, to create these these like non-sanctioned Zelda games and you know Link games. <laughs> Black for... market Zelda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like these games get made. I don't know for, if like... Black Market is right so much as like like you know terrible Chinese knockoff toys. Counterfeit. Yeah. Counterfeit Zelda. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I have stumbled through many, many market in uh, in Beijing, and there are lots of really bad like knockoff toys out there. And this, this is what this looks like to me. Oh yes. no! Yes, it's it's not good. It's it's really not good. This is like the the face only a mother could love type of scenario. Oh, here. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and the good news is though they're not considered actual entries in in the main series, which thank. Thank God someone's Ooh. like, yep, we have to just shun the hell out of these things. This goes in none of the timelines. It's no. all out. Yep. 
Yeah, we're, we're going to call this the dog shit timeline. <laughs> um, Miyamoto's like, ain't not happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the cuckoo crap timeline. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, 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 I mean, I can only imagine how red his face got when he saw this stuff. But uh, honestly, here's, here's what's really funny about this. Um, for the time, the graphics of this game weren't, like they weren't the worst looking thing you've ever seen. Like if you just look up the the imagery for this, <laughs> yes, it's not good. Okay, like <laughs> like these are side scrollers that have mm -hmm. um, actual like you know uh, they're not painted, but like there, there's some fairly detailed looking backgrounds, you know, um, and it's just standard side scrolling crap, right? Yeah. Um, you, you still have <laughs> you, you don't actually shop with uh, uh, with rupees. You shop with rubies instead. Mm -hmm. No. But, yep. Yeah. Yeah. You do. Um, we're we're not even going to get into the stories of these games because everything is so loosely based on just just. It, honestly, it just feels like what happens when a meth lab explodes, and this is what we have left over. <laughs> oh no! It, it, it is not not good. But what the, the what this series got known for were these live action like you know animated scenes mm -hmm. that took place in between, and that's the stuff of nightmares. Yeah, I mean, it, it is, so so were they yeah. trying to like do a some sort of Final Fantasy Zelda baby thing? What was uh, happening there? It really at the time, like if if you look back at this um, in like the early '90s, like this was I, honestly, I'll call it the I'll call it the Wii controller of its time. People were trying to think of different ways that they could move. Um, like live action cells into games. Like you, you saw it work really well with Midway when they developed Mortal Kombat. They actually look, took these live action cells and put them into games and it looks really good. Um, there would be other games that uh, would have like just recorded content that would be shoehorned into a game. Um, and typically these are like point and click games, right? Mm -hmm. But but in the case of these two Zelda, actually there'd be three Zelda games actually. Um, they would use these motion things and then put animation over it. And it just looked like this stuff of nightmares. It, yeah. it just was horrible. Yeah. Um, Cause actually like this is actually like refreshing memory. Now I'm looking at pictures of it and I definitely remember seeing like a small documentary on these and like yeah. the gameplay and the in-game stuff actually looks pretty good for its time. Yeah. Um, and I think actually like people actually enjoy the gameplay of it, but yeah, it was really? these, these cutscenes that were just terrifying. I'm actually, oh, so I pulled out the old Google machine and now I'm looking at some images here and it kind of looks like some masters of the universe done on, done on MS Paint. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <that's> <laughs> These are the vibes. That's what's happening. This is what oh I'm seeing. Oh my gosh. Yep. Uh, imagine this. You go into a boardroom. They're like, I want you to make this game, but I'm not going to give you a lot of time and you're not going to have any money. So <laughs> what, what can you do for me? And as um, paint it is. <laughs> well, honestly, uh, the whole reason for why this happened, and you'll, you actually see this happen throughout video game history, right? Like companies come together. They try to license things with each other. Usually it's a hardware component, right? That goes on to... Um, the actual console itself. Um, we even talked about this a little bit in our, our our episode later this week. But ultimately, that's what happens between Nintendo and Philips, right? Like mm -hmm. Philips had their own console, which had the CDI. Negotiations kind of fell through. So Nintendo, as like an act of good faith, says, yeah, we'll give you a couple characters that you can use from Nintendo. You can have the license for a bit. Make your games, right? And Philips turns around with this and... It's just not good. It's no. Oh man. Terrifying. So Yep. Oof. So yeah, for I guess uh we'll I I guess we don't have to link to any pictures in this one. Just look up uh Legend of Zelda <laughs> Link the Faces of Evil. Yeah. And you will have <laughs> some nightmare fuel uh, for yourself uh based off of that. Yeah, make sure you put Link Faces of Evil because if you just put Faces of Evil, you might actually get a smut film. Okay. You could. <laughs> yeah. Like and you have downloaded the wrong Zelda game at that point. Don't <laughs> don't do that to yourself. <laughs> oh, Whoa, Lord. this Ooh. this isn't right. <laughs> no, oh, not at all. I, I do. I, I really love this like weird, not Zelda Zelda thing, and mm -hmm. it, it kind of um. Are either of you familiar with the Legend of Zelda TV series? Yes, mm, it used yeah. to be on Fridays for the Super Mario yes. Super Show. Yeah. Yes. 
from September like 1989 to December 1989. Mm-hmm. Excuse, <laughs> me, Excuse me, princess. Excuse me, princess. <laughs> Just another oh thing that gosh. should never happen. Never and happened. I think maybe that TV show is why Real Link has never uttered a real word or sentence. I <laughs> think so. I, I, I don't toss out the toxic masculinity term very often, but this may define it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Link is a dick. Uh-huh. Oh and God. a little whiny, like, oh, yeah. like, I don't know who... What I don't know who got together and thought that that was a good idea, but they mm-hmm. were mistaken. I don't know if they oh. thought that was like edgy and hip, but like, no, this is just the worst of angst mm-hmm. made into a character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, just terrible. Yeah, don't but go hey, back and watch that stuff. It, no, it just, it's just gonna, yeah. That's the thing, like, I wouldn't say like it doesn't hold up, like, it never held water to begin with, <laughs> let alone. <laughs> anything like go back and watch the super mario super show and you can wonder why you liked it as a kid <laughs> but like just, just stop it's already dead it's already it's dead. already dead but just if you go back go. and watch the legend of zelda you remember why you didn't watch it as a kid <laughs> it's like yeah yeah i didn't tune in on fridays for this reason for the 13 episodes they made <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <laughs> Seriously, oh, man. I, I could be farting into a bucket for 30 minutes and it would make it more than 13 episodes. <laughs> yeah. Okay? yeah, you'd have more material, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, oh, hey, man. I, I did, even though I know I took a lot of time to describe the worst Zelda game I've ever played. No, worth um, it. For me, it's all nostalgia because that's where the majority of my time was spent, right? Like, I, I played less of Zelda the more modern it got. Mm-hmm. So for me, Link to the Past was where I spent, like, just all of my time. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I, I spent so much time playing that game. It got me into what would be my RPG addiction at one point. It, yeah. it wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't the fact that it had the most fleshed out RPG elements of all time, mm-hmm. but it was just the fact that it gave me the platform to understand it. And and it kind of instilled in me the idea of like, I just want to go get that thing that's slightly better than what I have now. Yeah. <laughs> and and do that like 50 Love. times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely agree with you that Zelda mm-hmm. is a perfect gateway franchise into some really complicated gameplay and different other other types of games and RPGs in general that can just yeah. be so you know um, all consuming, and mm-hmm. this is a little little gateway into that <laughs> oh completely i mean yeah basically like when you look at it like it's kind of like i don't know baby steps version of like leveling up characters like yeah yeah uh, you yeah. don't get xp but you need to collect four pieces of heart to get a new heart container mm-hmm. you've yeah. got to grind the hell out of that um you've got to do like different like um side quests to get like larger wallets to hold more rupee uh more rupees yeah. um yeah as the not rubies no, never no. rubies never rubies <laughs> never rubies um you go different side quests for like different weapons to get certain things like it was yeah yeah it was it was kind of something like i loved the simplicity of the legend of zelda for mm-hmm. that reason so like that's why i can like like breath of the wild when i heard about it i was kind of turned off i'm like hey you're kind of going the skyrim direction not yeah. sure i want the legend of zelda to do that um again like very old man on a porch scenario in my <laughs> day we just collected the piece of hearts and we liked it um, you do a temple you get a heart you leave <laughs> <laughs> and that's it it's not complicated you do it you fight ganon because he always comes back that- you, can, you can say you clock by him you feel it in your knees Chelsea, that is like the best way to describe how old man I feel playing certain video games. Yes, it's true. It's true. I just want point A to point B. I want nothing in between. <laughs> oh, that's oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, oh man. So, like, Building off of that, um, I know like my favorite entry in this is it's going to be Ocarina of Time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And just because, again, like it was something where I remember getting me in 64 and the first game I had was Mario 64. And it was incredible and so much fun. Like what could possibly like follow that up? And then I 
I borrow Ocarina of Time from a friend. Steal. Um, steal. <laughs> he got it back by the time the GameCube rolled around. <laughs> but I borrowed that, and I'm like, holy crap, this is better than Mario 64. I love this game. Yeah. And I just, like, I remember explicitly saying, like, here's my save file. Don't delete it. But you can, and there's my sister's save file. Don't delete it. You can have the last save file. And I kept deleting and replaying and not even like just like going through the story. Like I got went back. I got the pieces of heart every time. I mm -hmm. I, I freed the Scatella family every time. I did the side stories every time. Yep. I just played it so much. I'm like, nope, I don't need anything new. I have the Ocarina of Time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't really have the Ocarina of Time. <laughs> <laughs> I have my friend's copy about it's like it's, it's like borrowing Netflix passwords like before that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would gotcha. be like if I had Joe's parents' Netflix password. <laughs> no, no one does that here. <laughs> no, we're all we're all honest paying customers of our yeah. streaming services on this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. never even heard of people doing that with HBO Max. So yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never once or, heard that or Disney Plus. Uh, yeah, Hulu, all of them. None, none of them are sponsors of the show, by the way. None of them are sponsors uh, of the show, and at this rate, they're not going to be. No, <laughs> we've just disclosed about them. I mean, uh, but they should because what we just proved is that each of us pays for our individual subscriptions for uh -huh. every single service. So hit us up. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Give us a kickback on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and also if you are missing a copy of a Zelda game that you lent to Joe, now would be a good time <laughs> to to make your claim, um, just in case you've forgotten throughout the years. But um, but yeah, hey everybody, if you're sick of Joe and I talking, like. Chelsea's actually going to join us again this week. So yeah, yeah. if you've loved what you've heard here, we're about mm -hmm. to slap you across the face with a hell of a lot more of it. So we hope you enjoy. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, she does. I mean, she's welcome to talk about it now, but, but she does also reveal her favorite game in the franchise, I think, in the main episode. I do. Yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. It's definitely Twilight Princess for me. That's my favorite oh, game in the franchise. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not on the Wii, on the GameCube. No. And there's a difference. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Big difference. Yes. And we'll break down the shit out of that as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead and uh, put the Master Sword in until next time. What do you say? Let's yeah. do it. I think this world is safe. <laughs> <laughs>